Hey guys, happy Friday. It's June here. Um, the horses know that it's getting close to feeding time and they may have noticed that I also have a large bag of baby carrots that I'm gonna be distributing between them, uh, those that can have them. The others uh, will have their sugar-free mints. So uh, some of the horses are on a restricted diet. Ethel is here. She's uh, ready and waiting for whatever I'm handing out. Sweet girl. Ethel is one of the longest boarders that we've had. Uh, I think it's a toss up between her and Lays are actually pretty close. Um, Ollie. Uh, we've got Cleese and Sully, who's extra rambunctious because he wants the carrots. Uh, let's see, we've got hashtag hiding here in the back, but maybe I can coax him over to the opening. Hi, hashtag. Good. Okay. And Candy is, she is definitely, she is ready and waiting. Anyhow, I'll sneak around back and make my usual loop. So we've certainly had uh, quite a bit of rain these last few days but I've been trying to get the horses out as much as possible. Um, Maddie had a long list of rides uh, today, just like all the other days. Got my Fresno State Equestrian cap on. Um, that was an awesome trip that we took to California about six weeks ago for Maddie when she committed to Fresno 2021 for college. Gracie. <laughs> um, Dot. I know I'm gonna I'm gonna give these carrots out when I come back around. So I uh, just thought I would let you guys know that the horses had their second round of spring vaccinations this past Monday. All the horses did well. Uh, the vet's healthy and she's doing great. And uh, there's a few horses that have to have a third round of vaccines. Uh, so she'll be back out at the end of the month for that. Uh, I took on like a little project this week, which was took all the jumps out of the indoor and uh, backbladed the indoor ring, worked really hard. Scott actually, uh, he, he really kind of did most of the work. I, it was my idea to do it and I started it and then I realized that he's much better at it. So I'm really happy with the footing in the indoor. Uh, Maddie said it rode really well. Got Westy here. I know. Hi, Westy. Okay, we'll catch up with the other gang that lives in the indoor. It's chilly today, that's for sure. Uh, the horses were able to have their blankets off a little bit this week, so that was nice. Uh, but again, it's it's a chill in the air. So we've got Blue here, hiding behind me. Blue, you can hear the pig, because I'll let her out. She can go run around for a few minutes. Mona, Sam. Bear, bear is hiding, but that's okay. Hi, bear. Can you come over? Okay. He's saying hi to Lillian. And Risque, beautiful Risque. So in any event, uh, I hope that you guys are all healthy and doing well. I'm pretty confident that most of you received the memo that I sent out yesterday regarding uh, my tentative plan for a restricted opening. I had originally wanted to try to do that next week, but based on the information uh, that's you know relevant to our state uh, with the peak hitting between today and the 20th, I really felt that it was very important to hold off 
an additional week. And uh, again, I'm following the news and following the guidelines and um, trying to do what's, what I think uh, is, is the best uh, plan for us and for our clients. And, um, you know, I, nobody wants to get back to normal more than I do. Trust me, I want to have a schedule. I want to be teaching. Um, want to be having horse shows to be looking forward to. Uh, I've got horses that are some new horses that are supposed to be coming in for sale horses and ponies and everything is on hold, everything. So um, that, that's about it. But uh, I hope you understand my reasoning for doing what we're doing. Um, I, I hope that you know, you, you agree with it. And, and I know it's, it's definitely not an easy decision. And again, barring any changes or barring any new information that I receive, um, you know, either through the Mass Department of Agriculture or just, you know, that comes to light in the news. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing, it looks like every, everyone is planning to come on the 21st. Um, I am working on the schedule. I asked everybody to give me their time frames, and I will absolutely do my best to accommodate you. Uh, I do not want clients here at the same time. Uh, I know that the guidelines were very strict, but I'm just trying to cover all my bases and have it be a safe experience and you know, to make sure that we're doing our part. So um, I wanted to wish all of you um, a happy Easter for those of you that celebrate. Um, Easter uh, is typically a holiday that we have had here that we've hosted with our family and um, I have some great memories of some pretty epic Easter egg hunts with Maddie and her cousins and um, you know we're just laying low and I keep saying that we have a lot of um, things to make up when this passes. A lot of dinners and a lot of cookouts and spending time with uh, family and friends. So that being said, I miss all of you and um, I will keep sending individual pictures and videos of your horses uh, as much as possible. And I'm counting the days until April 21st and I'm crossing everything that, that um, is, is that it can happen, that we can make this happen. So if anybody has any questions about what I sent out with guidelines, or if anybody has any, um, anything that they want to add to it, uh, please, you know, reach out to me. And uh, I miss you guys terribly. And um, again, happy Easter for those of you that are celebrating. And also, um, you know, it's, it's, hopefully starts to feel more like spring very soon. I should not have to wear a heavy winter jacket uh, in almost mid-April. So I'll talk to you guys soon.